What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and I hope the rest of your day gets even better. We just got done hanging around. We were just chilling with my friend Chris and my brother. Just, you know, having a coffee, chatting. Coffee of the day is Freddo Espresso Black from Coffee Lab today. There's your boy. Awesome. And I'm actually just about to have my second meal of the day. First meal was the rice flour meal, breakfast meal. Now we have the second meal of the day, which is also going to be my pre-workout meal. We're gonna be hitting chest today. Having this pre-workout meal, I'm gonna be editing for a bit, for like half an hour, and then we're gonna go hit the gym. So basically having this meal around an hour before training. So chest, cardio, I'm going to attempt to do an hour of today. We'll see how it goes, then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do some more editing, and then I'm off to see the Ghostbusters movie today. So I'm gonna be probably showing you a bit of that, but we'll see how that goes. You know, they don't allow cameras in the cinema and the movies, so we might just have a casual vlog until there. Otherwise, you know, just, you know, the casual daily vlog of mine. Back yesterday was decent. I already feel my back really like well, not sore, but I can feel I've worked my back, so I'm really happy with that. And today, I hope chest also goes well. The meals are absolutely fantastic. This tastes insane. I have to thank my girlfriend for doing the cooking and preparation of the meals. She has a great hand when it comes to cooking. And you know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, but you know, that's... Well, you know, that's true. So, these meals are great. She did take my, even though she wants to cook like even tastier, better meals, I, I, I keep getting on her nerves because I want her to stick to like clean, lean diets, no olive oil, no that. Not necessarily because you can't add it. You can, of course, add anything you want to make your meals flavorful, you know, like do whatever you want to do as long as you're in your calorie limit you're fine and you can do anything you want to do. I just prefer, since on my fitness pal, I already have 2000 calories, okay? I didn't have the luxury of adding more calories when it comes to olive oil and other stuff. So basically this is, as I mentioned yesterday, 200 grams of chicken. Hold on, I need to show it. 200 grams of chicken, 200 grams of orzo with the tomato sauce and stuff. Now, I've already taken into consideration the calories of the olive oil, tomato paste, tomato, chopped up tomatoes, onion and stuff, which aren't that many calories. However, I have, you know, had a, I ha I've added them up, you know, for the week, for basically five days, that's a lie, for five days and then divided them. So I know how much these meals have when it comes like, well, calorie wise. So I'm gonna be eating this, some BCAs today, I bought BCAs, I'm gonna be showing you that from Applied Nutrition. And then I'm gonna be hitting the gym, then cardio, then the movies, and you know, general editing throughout the day. Also the breakfast, I haven't bought bananas, I didn't add the banana today. And also today, since I'm going to the movies, I'm gonna be like going slightly above my calories, slightly, and I'm gonna be eating the rice cake pack that I buy with oregano flavor, or I might substitute and change it up today with the cinnamon flavor. 
So that's going to be my cinema treat, my movie treat, okay? My girlfriend is going to be having since she's also on her diet, she might have this like these low, well, no, not low calorie chips, but like, you know, lower sodium, lower, they're baked instead of fried and you, you get the whole idea. They're around 400 calories, but she makes sure that since she's consuming around 1800 calories, I think, she makes sure that she has eaten 1400 calories. And so the 400 calories remaining are the chips she's going to be eating for the movies. So that's basically how you can also, you know, work your way around your calories and daily consumption of food in general when it comes to dieting and losing weight, etc. So guys, I'm going to be eating this meal and I'll catch you guys in the gym for a chest workout. Stay tuned. Okay, what's up guys? We are back in the gym today for a chest workout, as I mentioned, and we're going to be starting off with the decline chest machine press. So we're going to be executing three sets of 8 to 12 reps, as always, with a warm-up set. I have recorded two out of the three working sets because the one was recorded vertically for Instagram. So if you haven't already, go check out the socials. Hopefully you can drop a follow, like, subscribe, anything you want, and appreciate the content there. So this is basically the first working set, one plate per side. Now I have to start basically, so I've talked about progressive overload, but I have to start applying it more because I've seen that I've kind of, I, I've kind of stayed, you know, where I've always been. So I have to, I think I have to have a notebook with me and keep track of the weights and the sets and the reps and everything I do so that we can accurately, progressively overload every workout, okay? So this was the first set. I executed 12 reps, really decent, really good form, nice contraction, slow negatives, everything, everything, everything was great. I could feel my chest. Here also, this is two plates per side. So here is also a very decent set I completed. I really liked it. And for the first exercise, I got a really decent pump when it came to the chest. So next time I'm going to be bringing a notebook with me just so I can take notes and, you know, accurately keep track of all the weight I lift and, you know, generally throughout all my workouts so that we can then from now on start, you know, adding, adding, adding. Even the slightest amount of weight is progressive overload. And the whole point is to start adding weight slowly while maintaining the form and, you know, reps being around 8 to 12 with that new weight. So if I were to do like here, one plate per side on the Smith Machine bench press, and then third set is going to be two plates per side. Next time I'm going to be trying to do two plates per side plus something for 12 clean, proper form reps. Okay, that's the whole point. But I guess you will, of course, see it in the future once we apply it. So we move on eventually to the second exercise of this, of this, of this workout, which is going to be, as I mentioned, the Smith machine bench press. Okay. And so here's the thing. I've mentioned it again, when it comes to my chest, I really, I really get 
you know, irritated when I lose the, the pump, the feel, the contraction and everything. So this was the first set with one plate per side and we end up doing eight reps, I think, maybe a bit more resting. And then because I was starting to lose it, not starting to lose it, but I really want to, you know, perfect my form when it comes to contracting and feeling the muscle on barbell machines and dumbbell machines and dumb barbell exercises, excuse me, and dumbbell exercises. Okay. I, on the, during the second set, I grabbed my brother who was also with me at the gym so he can, you know, check if I'm actually squeezing, contracting, you know, working my chest and I'm not just, you know, moving the weight and working my shoulders and arms instead. So I started to get kind of irritated here. That's why I did those, you know, four to five extra reps just so I can make sure that I am, you know, properly executing the exercise and I can feel my chest working. I mean, it was a fairly acceptable, uh, it was a decent workout and it was, you know, acceptable. I, 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 I couldn't complain that much. I was feeling my chest. The contraction was great. My form was okay. And yeah, there's my brother. He's going to come, you know, along and he's just going to check my chest so he can see if I'm squeezing and working my chest because that's the whole point. I, I, I want to have as much as I can, as much as, as much focus as I can on my chest. Okay. And not so much. I mean, you are going to be working your front delts and your arms. It's inevitable. But you know, you want to focus as much as you can on the chest being worked rather than those other two muscle groups. So yeah, all in all, overall, it was a great workout, okay, and we, we, we keep moving forward. So this was the second working set, and we end up doing a drop set as well. So first set was one plate per side, second was one and a half, third was also one and a half, but it was recorded vertically for Instagram. So this was a great set, as I just mentioned, and as you can see, I mean, we, we do, you can see my chest moving, but, you know, it's nowhere near the, the insane pump you've seen when it comes to other athletes and in general. However, it doesn't really matter. You just want to do your best, okay? And yeah, basically just move on from there. So this is going to be the third exercise, okay, for this workout. And it's going to be incline, the incline chest press, incline chest press machine. And we're also going to be doing three sets here of 8 to 12 reps, one of which is recorded vertically for Instagram and the two of which you're going to see right now. Now, I'm using relatively light weight here because I want to focus on the contraction and the squeeze. I can add more weight. I am going to be adding more weight, you know, as the sets continue. But, you know, if I end up adding too much weight, either I can't go past six reps or I sacrifice form. So that's a sign that I can't yet increase the weight when it comes to this exercise. So I have to, well, it doesn't mean I can't increase it, but it probably means I can't increase it that much. So as you can see here, I've added three 10 kilogram plates per side. So 30 kilograms per side and the form and the execution of every rep is really decent, I believe. Okay, I might, I might be mistaken, but I, I just think it's really decent. So we have our, you know, contraction at the top, our squeeze, slow, eccentric, stretch at the bottom, and explosive, concentric movement. So a concentric part of the movement. So I think we're, we're really decent here. Okay. So, you know, as we, as we, yeah, as we start to struggle, you know, we might start pushing a bit, you know, more and slightly sacrificing. I mean, we do end up doing a drop set here and lower a plate down. So we end up pumping, I think, four more reps, four to six more reps. I'm not really sure. So that's two, probably probably four to six. I'm not really sure. And we end up moving to the final exercise of this workout, which is going to be the pec deck. Well, the fly machine, basically. And we're also going to be doing three sets of eight to 12 reps there. So overall, as I mentioned, it was a pretty satisfying workout. It was pretty good. I, I mean, I'm definitely going to be feeling this workout you know, tomorrow, I think tomorrow is going to be, might be a leg workout or, you know, just a casual accessory workout. I'm not really, I haven't really decided yet. And after that is probably either going to be an arm workout or a shoulder workout. But, you know, I guess you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. So we finished the third and 
well, basically the third exercise for this workout and we move on to the fly machine. Same things apply here, slow, eccentric parts here, slowly, 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 stretching as much as we can, open up that chest, okay? And then explosively, boom, push. I mean, when it comes to the upcoming set, you'll see I slightly hold it for, I mean, a second longer, I think, when it comes to the top part. And just here, we're just repping it out, okay? I've, I've, I, I, can't, I can't control the weight anymore when it comes to the top part. So I'm just, you know, pumping it out, stretching as much as I can the chest and, you know, overall doing our best. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Sadly, I wasn't able to further record anymore, you know, later on in the day. However, you know, of course, we will be coming back tomorrow with some more content and, of course, another workout. So, you know, keep doing your best, guys. Keep putting in the work, being consistent with your diet and workouts. And, you know, you will eventually reach your goals and accomplish everything you want. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Can't wait to see you in tomorrow's video. Rest well, sleep well, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.